G'day there everyone, it's Daniel Anderson here and today we are going to be taking a look at the Milestones app in Microsoft Teams. Now obviously there are so many different ways in which you can keep track of projects, work items, tasks uh, and things like that. And this is just one of those. So it's uh, it's a sample app provided by Microsoft that you can freely add to any existing team uh, and you can grab it from the Teams app store. So that's what we're going to focus on today. We're gonna to have a look at how to deploy it to a team, um, the user interface and how we go about managing it, configuring it and uh, actually just using it uh, inside of your team. So what is the Milestones app? So it is, an easy way for you to keep track of projects and initiatives. Now, it's really important that we, uh, I guess, focus on what we're trying to achieve from one of these applications. So as I said before, there are a few different ways in which we can go about achieving similar results but it's really important to start from the outcome that you want. How and what functionality do you want from um, a, a product or an application that allows you to keep track of work items and also assign different things to different people? Um, do we need to track different milestones and things like that? So we're going to focus on this application today. So what is it and what are the benefits? So as I said, it is an out of the box sample app for Microsoft Teams that provides a simple way to keep track of projects and initiatives. It makes it easy to manage work, individual work items based on certain milestones and track them from start all the way through to completion. Now, there are a few benefits uh, that you are going to see and you're gonna realize throughout uh, as we walk through this application. It is easy to set up projects and individual work items. We can assign these work items to um, members of the project team. We can classify classify work items by milestones, and we can configure categories, priorities, and statuses as well. All right, so as we can see, it's a fairly uh, simple um, uh, application that is going to allow us to do this. There's no automation or things like that. So again, start from the outcome and what you're trying to, and what you're wanting to achieve uh, from this application. So let's get started and let's have a look at the application in uh, specifically here. So we can see here that I'm logged in as Megan, I'm in the sales and marketing team and I'm in the general channel. And I've got a tab that is already set up here with the Milestones app. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is actually deploy the Milestones app to a team. So you'll find the Milestones app in the application store. So if we click on the apps on the, in the bottom left hand corner here, and we just do a search for Milestones, and you can see that we've got the app automatically that comes up. Now, what we when we open it up, we can add it to a team. And when we click add to team, you can see um, that we've got the teams that are available to me to deploy it to, and it automatically adds it to uh, to the general channel of that particular team. Okay, so I've already deployed that to and, and set it up, and and it's in its default installation um, state here. So we're coming. Um, it gets deployed with some sample data. All right, uh, like we can see here. Uh, but we can remove the, this data if we want to as well, okay? So let's have a walk around the interface, all right? So the first thing we can see in this is a search box here where we can find our projects because what we can do as part of this application is we can create multiple different projects and track work items uh, across multiple projects. So we might have a number of different projects or initiatives that we're working on as part of the sales and marketing team, and we can have we can list all these out here. So we might need to search for them there. Now the second thing that we'll take a look at here is our branding. All right, so we can click, we can open, we can we can select a color theme, or we can use uh, an image or uh, and brand the header part of um, of the application itself. Now you'll also see this cog up the top right settings, all right, our global settings here. So you can see that we've got three different um, sections that we can customize. So we've got our category, we've got priorities, and we've also got statuses. So these are uh, globally uh, available to each of each of the projects. Now, 
we can create a new project from this button here, and we can also then uh, sort our projects. So when we've got multiple, we might wanna sort them um, through uh, in different ways. Now, the, the next thing here is if we take a look at the main window, is the first section up the top. So we can have a look at our uh, different statuses. So we've got two options here that we can choose. We've got milestone status, or we've got team status. So this would list out other members of our team and what they've got on their plate at any given point in time. Um, or we can flick between our milestone status. So we've got three milestones in this project. We've got research, deployment, and feedback. Okay, so you'll also see up the top here um, where we've got um, our different categories, priorities, and completion dates. So they're different to that of the milestones. Okay, and we'll have a look at, at how where we create those as we go through and um, actually create a, a project. Now down the bottom here is our tracking section. Okay, so in our tracking section is where we have our project work items. We can create, we can read, we can update, and we can delete these that are associated to a project. We've got the ability to sort and filter and, and do some things like that as well through here. So we might want to just see certain uh, milestones or certain work items that are associated to certain milestones, etc. And we've got some filtering capabilities there. So let's go through now and, ha and have a look at how we actually create a new project. So from the new project button, we'll give this project a name. So we might, uh, let's call this um, Microsoft 365 intranet project. All right, so this is where we set up our milestones. So we, milestone one might be uh, IA workshops. Um, and let's just fix up the spelling here. Next one, we might do a POC as the next milestone. And next, we might do content creation. And we might add a fourth milestone to launch. All right, so now we've got our milestones. We can also associate dates to our milestones. So let's pick a date. I wanna do this by the end of that week. I want the POC built uh, a week after that. So if we go there, we might just do all these as, um, as one, in one week intervals, all right? So that will be the 10th and there we go. So we'll keep going through, we'll click next. This is where we add our project members, all right? So not everybody as part of the SARS marketing team might be part of this particular project, all right? So let's just add Alex, and he's the only one that's gonna be part of this project. But we could also obviously add um, multiple people if we wanted to. So let's now create this project, okay? So now that's going to spin up a, a another project. It's going to appear in our list, and now we've got two. All right, so we've got system deployment and we've got our Microsoft 365 intranet, okay? And now what we can do is add our new work items. You can see the default here uh, through the status up the top here is our, um, is our milestone status. So we've got those milestones that we created. We can create uh, and use uh, and brand it. Let's add this image like this. And let's add now a new work item. Okay, so to add a new work item, we click new work item, and here is a form that we need to fill out. Okay, so let's go for uh, the first work item is going to be uh, IA workshop one, and which is going to be content types. All right, so that's our first work item. Let's assign that to Alex. The milestone is going to be uh, the information architecture. The status is new. Category, uh, let's go development. Priority is, it is really important, this one. And we want this target because we wanted to complete this milestone by this date. We're going to have a target date like this, all right? So we'll click create. That's gonna create that new work item, all right? So let's now just create another work item. So let's go uh, IA workshop two. Let's make this one uh, metadata. We'll assign that, we'll assign that to Megan. We'll use the same milestone. 
Uh, let's make this one in progress. We'll go IT priority. Again, let's just put P3 for this one and I want this done by the end of today and we'll click create. All right, so now we've got two work items. Now, what that looks like here is if I flick over to team status now, we can see that in our team that we've got uh, different work items associated at different statuses, all right? Now, we can also then edit our work items through here. So I can open up this work item. We can uh, change this to maybe it's blocked for now. All right, so we'll change that. This one has now been set to block. And if we come back to the home page here of this particular project, you can see that now um, that status has been changed to block. Now we can also delete these if we need to, all right? So we can select and we can use the delete button here uh, to delete our work items. Uh, and we can do the same thing with the projects as well. So uh, if I hit the edit button of the, uh, the project, you can see that I can delete the project. I can add additional milestones, change the dates, add our team members if we need to, add additional team members if we need to as well. Uh, so we do have those options after we create that particular project. Now, because we're using this out of the box, it may not fit what we need. So there might be often times where we need to customize things or we wanna add some columns or maybe we want to um, send a weekly report on project statuses from the app itself. All right, that's where we're going to leave it for part one. That was an introduction and an overview of the Milestones app in Microsoft Teams. In the next session, we're going to look at how we can customize uh, the Milestones app by adding a column um, to the, the out of the box columns that are there and also how we can potentially uh, send out reminders and uh, uh, integrate power automate into the application as well so uh, that'll be in the next episode so thanks for watching and i'll see you then